Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, we're gonna get into some more mobile magic, talking specifically about how to change the size of your fonts on mobile devices only. I did a tutorial on this last year, but there were a couple of nuances that I didn't mention and some differences with 7.1, so I thought it was time for me to re-record this magic. So anywho, you can specify any CSS code you want for a specific screen size using a media query. I posted a tutorial about this last week. Uh, if you missed it, the link to it is beneath this video, and the cheat sheet that goes along with that is available at insidethesquare.co forward slash mobile. So what we're gonna do today is use a media query to say, hey browser, when my screen size is this size or smaller, I want you to make my font this size. Following? Awesome. All right, let's hop into my demo site and take a look at this because we've got a couple of specifics that I can't wait to show you. So here we are in just a blank demo site. I have some paragraph text here and then some paragraph text down here in my footer. This is my 7.1 site, but this code works the same in 7 and 7.1. So whatever version you're in, you're gonna be fine. So we're gonna head to design and then scroll down to custom CSS here. So this is where we'll be putting the code. Now, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that whatever we do only applies to mobile devices. So this right here is my desktop preview and I'll click here to that little mobile icon and now we can see the paragraph text and we can see these links. But honestly, these links are really close together. These paragraph text links are gonna be kinda hard for anyone with large fingers to make sure they're actually hitting link three and not link one or link two. So that's exactly what we're gonna change. Now, we've gotta start with that media query so this code only applies to mobile. So I'm going to say at media only screen and parentheses, max width 640 PX. That's pretty standard for a mobile breakpoint in Squarespace. Again, all this breakpoint information is in that last tutorial I made, link below, details at insidethesquare.co forward slash mobile. But let's keep going. All right, so we've got that code in there and then we need to open up a new bracket. This is saying, all right, computer, anytime the screen is smaller than this, this is what I need you to do. So this is just paragraph text, so I can say P, font dash size is 2REM and then exclamation point important because I want my code prioritized over everything else. I realize I spelled size incorrectly. Let's fix that, S-I-Z-E, there we go. Now you'll see all of the fonts have updated and it's great, these links are there and they're separated, but oh man, everything else is huge and that's not what we wanted. So we need to say, hey, just the text in the footer. So for 7.1, this is a footer section. So I'll say hashtag footer dash section and then a space. And now the paragraph text here is normal, but the footer text is big. But again, this is also not what we wanted. Now my whole URL is slightly pushed to the side. The links are big, that's what we needed, but this stuff needs to stay the same. So the links, we can specify those too. I'm gonna add the letter A saying active link. And now this code, Updating the font size only applies to the paragraph text that is an active link in the footer of my site. And check this out. We go back to the desktop version and everything looks the same. Mobile version, doing what we want it to do. How awesome is that? So again, this is just for the footer section of my website. But regardless of all that, if I want to update the paragraph text, my heading one or extra large heading if you're in 7.1, or if you wanna do just buttons, anything that you wanna resize just for mobile needs that media query and text is one of the best examples that I like to use. So again, a free CSS cheat sheet that will kind of walk you through this whole process is available at insidethesquare.co forward slash mobile. So head on over there to check that out. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And if you like learning about all of the cool things you can do with CSS for Squarespace, be sure to visit my new site, insidethesquare.co. I have a ton of tutorial videos and more free cheat sheets teaching you about all the cool stuff that I like to do with Squarespace. So that's insidethesquare.co. Head over there to check it out. Thanks again for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.